Police were waiting for him. A would-be robber is killed during an attempted holdup at a gas station on the city's northwest side. Good afternoon. Chicago police say the suspect may be responsible for dozens of holdups in the area since April 15th. For that reason, they have been staking out gas stations throughout that area. They were waiting for the robber to strike again. Well, this shooting happened just before 7 o'clock this morning. This was at the intersection of Montrose and Forest Preserve Drive. ABC 7's Sarah Schulte joins us live now from the scene with more information about what happened this morning. Sarah? Melinda, well, Chicago police, police from surrounding suburbs, and the FBI all formed a joint task force to try to find this robber. Matter of fact, the FBI says they just got involved as of today. Now, police say that they have had between 40 and 50 officers working on this case trying to catch the robber in action. And today, they got lucky. A green sweatshirt, jeans, and a surgical mask is the attire police say a robber wore in what may be 30 gas station robberies. This morning, a Chicago police officer and FBI agent were in the area of this northwest side Marathon gas station when they noticed a white van the suspect had used in previous robberies. They observed him exit his van, which also fit the description of that we had before, a Don a surgical mask and enter the gas station behind us. Police say they called for backup as they saw the suspect walk into the gas station. The offender exited the gas station with gun in hand. The officers ordered him to drop the weapon, to which he did not, and the officers fired, fatally wounding the offender. Police say the shooting follows a crime spree that they believe began on April 15th. The suspect allegedly hit gas stations on the northwest side and surrounding suburbs, including this one in Schiller Park. It was during the day, 7.30 in the morning. Guy comes up to the counter, green hoodie, surgical mask, puts his items on the counter. Noticed he was wearing gloves. I thought nothing of it. You know, the swine flu, everything. Tammy Ivan didn't think anything of it until the man with the surgical mask pulled out a gun. This is the gas station surveillance tape of the crime. I'm trying to calm myself down enough to, you know, function. Got the register open, gave him whatever I had, asked him if he wanted a bag, and he left. We set up the task force, so so no, we didn't feel the you know community per se uh, was at risk. Now, as for the shooting that took place this morning here at the Marathon gas station, the police have not released the name of the dead suspect. The shooting was followed by a two-hour search for the second suspect. Matter of fact, there were even some evacuations in the area, but the police later determined there was not a second suspect. Meantime, the gas station here has reopened. Live on the northwest side, Sarah Schulte, ABC 7 News. Linda, back to you. Sarah, thanks very much.